so now we're going to be looking at the Heckler group, which is generated by two elements, which are 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So this is the element z goes to minus 1 upon z and 1, 1, 0, 1. So this I'm going to call A, and this one I'm going to call B, and this one sends z to z plus 1. Okay, and now if I look at a b minus 1, this takes z to minus 1 all over z minus 1, which equals 1 over 1 minus z, and this, you can check, is of order 3. Let's look at it more precisely by looking at 1 goes to 1 over 1, 1 minus z. So multiply everything by this 1 minus z divided by minus z. So this is z all over minus 1 all over z. And if I compose again, then I'm looking at z going to 1 over 1 minus z minus 1 all over 1 minus 1 minus z. Multiply everything through by 1 minus z. That gives me 1 minus 1 minus z, which is equal to z. Okay, so I'm going to think of the Hecker group as being the group, instead of thinking of it as the group generated by a and b, I'm going to think of it as the group generated by a and a, B minus 1, which I'm going to call C. And I note that this is of order 2, and this is of order 3. Okay? Okay. So now I have these two elements, and the aim is to show that uh, this group, this product A and C, is free. And to do this, I'm going to look at the dynamics on S1. Okay? So A, I'm going to look at U is going to be the real line, the negative part of the real line, minus a and zero, and v is going to be positive real line, a zero. And now I'm going to look at c applied to r with r in minus infinity zero. So this is equal to one over one minus r. And when I notice that c of R is contained in 0, 1. Okay, and now if I look at C squared of R, so that's, I'm going to set S equal to C of R, that's equal to C of S, so that's 1 over 1 minus S, which again is positive because S is contained in 0. One. And so what I get at the end is that c and c squared send u to v, but similarly, I have that a sends b to u, and so by the ping pong level, that by the Hecker group, which will be gen generated by A and C, is just the free product of Z over 2Z quotient by Z over 3Z.